also uh, my throttle cable finally came from my other X mark mower. Uh, wow. Looks like that's pulling apart, man. Whoa. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so I got the uh, I got the part. Here it is. We're gonna replace that throttle cable right there. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be that hard, but you know, you never know until you get into this kind of thing. I'm gonna set you guys up and uh, let y'all see, you know, what's going on. But, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, like I was saying, First thing you gotta do is you gotta take these are these are 10 millimeter. You gotta take these out and uh, put you guys some time lapse right here. And uh, yeah, y'all come and see what I'm going through here. done it's installed now so now you got to go around here to the other side over here and I guess you guys can see that okay so the other cable through there, right? So if you're in business like I am, you you got to uh, you, you got to have a pressure washer. Now I don't know that you need a thousand dollar pressure washer, but uh, I like nice shit, y'all. What can I say? You know, I mean I do. I like nice stuff, man, and I'm willing to work for it. But this thing right here, so when you crank it, y'all, I'm not gonna crank it up right now. But when you crank it, you're actually uh, are turning it are turning the fuel on. So uh, when you shut it off, it shuts the fuel off. So you don't have any, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, fuel sitting uh, in the fuel line or on the carb, you know. Because uh, the biggest thing I noticed with these pressure washers and stuff, 
and, and things that you don't use all the time is fuel sits in it and then it won't start so Johnny homeowner wonders why his weed eaters and his pressure washer won't start because he left fuel in it and it's been sitting for a year or whatever right up I bet you I could pull I'm gonna start it right up I'm just for a brief moment it'll yeah, I mean it's, it'll start right up dude uh, so that and it's easy to pull too man y'all see ain't no joke man okay y'all so i'm gonna get on the mower now Don't get, and hey good neighbors are hard to come by y'all trust me trust me when i tell you that trust me but uh so now i can i'll put this mower this mower right here goes back in the fleet and the uh, fuel injected one that i was running today the one that i fixed the tire on and all that well, the one that I, the one that's uh, on the trailer, it's gonna go, uh, it's gonna go to the storage unit, because uh, I don't need it, I don't need it out here uh, uh, right now. Uh, yeah, so uh, damn good mower though, and y'all see the damn tire held up today. Look at that. I mean. Yeah, liking that shit, man. There's something satisfying about fixing something with the tools that you have. Uh, basically, uh, what you're doing is uh, is you're working with what you got. You know, you're working with you with what you got. And I got a a welder. I've had that welder for it's a great investment, guys. If you are in my line of work or you're trying to get in this line of work. That 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 welder right there, the wire welder, nothing. It'll run off a of 120, dude. I'm telling you, that thing has saved me tens of thousands of dollars over the years. Uh, I bought it before I ever. I bought it right after I went in business. As soon as I saw that me taking my trailer to a shop, any trailer that I had to a shop, and not having a trailer, I knew right then that I was going to have to buy a welder. And I think I used that same Home Depot card that I maxed out on the mower for 500. I think I used the same Home Depot card right after I paid the mower off. I got that for 500 or 450, something like that, and never had a problem with it. Never. And I've done all kinds of things, y'all. I've done so much with it. I've actually even made money with it. So uh, uh, not only do I save money, but I have er actually earned dollars with it. Uh, there was a time when I wasn't real busy. Uh, before I got really deep into the lawn care stuff that uh, I, I put an ad up welding services, you know, uh, mobile welding services, man. And uh, I, I have welded many uh, motorcycle, uh, uh, you know, foot pegs back on. I have welded, uh, oh my gosh, I have welded a mini exhaust and things like that. Uh, over the years too on every truck tra on every truck four wheeler that anybody in my family or me or anybody does i have built homemade racks and stuff uh y'all saw how I, I, I tacked all the green touch stuff down on that trailer right there you know so you know uh that's a, that that right there is a mandatory must if you ask me that's right up there with uh with weed eaters and 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 trailers and stuff because you need one of them right there to keep your damn uh if you're gonna if you want to keep your cost down and i'm all about keeping my cost down because when i keep my cost down that means i'm making more money yeah that's what that means uh so just kind of wanted to throw that out there and and the pressure washer is the same way these are just tools that you need to have man you know, uh, now I ain't saying you gotta have a thousand dollar steel pressure washer, though. This sucker right here is nice. Now I put this on there uh, myself just so uh, I don't have to uh, screw in and off, you know, from here because that, that yeah, you wear those things out. Uh, but this thing right here will sling some water, dude. I mean, it makes the, the uh, uh, the one the all the every pressure washer i've ever owned before this one it makes it look like a toy uh 
I mean, the water, um, the amount of water that, just, that comes out of this thing is just phenomenal compared to some of the other pressure washers that I bought, you know, the $400 ones at Home Depot or whatever. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice pressure washer, man. And I know I'm kind of rambling a little bit, y'all. Uh, another thing, too, that's mandatory, well, uh, an air compressor is mandatory now, and that's a big one and, and, and everything. Now, this right here is not really mandatory, but uh, this is a plasma cutter. It'll cut half-inch steel, uh, just zip right through it. Now, I did have a, a 220 installed from the breaker box to here. Uh, but And you got to have a big boy air compressor to run this. But that thing right there, dude. Uh, I used it when Jesse Blackport was over here and we cut an engine off of the uh, pull-behind mower I had. Uh, and I've used it for m numerous things. Uh, but I haven't had it in a long. I've probably had it about a year. Uh, and I know everything's a mess. But uh, that's just... <laughs> Can't never keep stuff organized enough. Uh, so uh, I'm fixing to get on this mower and we're going to go cut my neighbor's grass. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to go on plug the camera in the computer, get this video uh, downloading real quick. And uh, yeah, y'all, this is Ray. Peace out.